Crystal of Crystal Souls and Stuff on Instagram. Welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year. So I'm glad. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. And I'm glad that we've all made it into the C 2019. So today I wanted to share with you my makes for the 2018 Make 9 Challenge. So I completed eight of the nine makes for the challenge. And the first thing that I made was the Monique dress. And that dress is a pattern by Sewn Magazine. And um, for this pattern, I used a blue ponte knit from Fabric Mark Fabrics, as well as a, some white um, cotton, I believe, from Joann's for the cuffs and the um, for the cuffs and the collar. So that was the first thing that I made for the 2018 Make Nine Challenge. And I wore that dress for my birthday last January when we went to go see the play Chicago up in New York. So the next thing I made was what I'm wearing today, which is the Renfrew top by Soaholic Patterns. And um, I made the cowl neck version. And I really love this pattern because it has the cuffs on the, on the arms as well as the, the cuffs on the bottom hem band. So it was a really easy make. Um, it took a little bit, it took like two and a half yards of I remember like two whole yards, two and a quarter yards, something like that for this for the cow neck version because you use so much fabric to make the cow. Um, I do want to make this pattern again. It was a very easy, quick make and um, a simple, very simple, quick pattern. So the next thing that I made was the Berta 05 from the May 2015 issue of Berta Style Magazine and that was um, number 103. And I made this dress to go along with, for the day, night, day and night dress challenge put on by Elizabeth Made This here on YouTube and Instagram. And um, I just wanted to challenge myself to try Berta Magazine. I had a couple that I've ordered off of eBay and, and then I subscribed to the actual, the monthly magazine. And I still renewed it this year. So anyway, I hadn't actually made anything. I was just looking through the magazines. So now I decided to just go ahead and make one. And I really um, enjoy making this pattern. It was a little challenging, but uh, overall it wasn't um, too difficult. I made this in February when I went up to um, the song retreat last year. Um, last year. So anyway, that was the second, uh, was that the second or the third thing that I made for the 2018 Make Nine Challenge. So the fourth thing that I made was McCall 7392 and I made a black, um, the black jean skirt with um, silver buttons going down the front and I just needed a, a jean skirt for everyday wear because my other ones were just a little too short or a little too small. Um, so I decided I would just make one myself and I really enjoy making this pattern and I made this pattern as part of a um, wardrobe challenge that was put on by uh, PatternReview.com. So, the next thing that I made was the Aomori twist top. And I made two versions of this top. Um, and this top is by uh, Paper Cut pa Patterns. And I made a green one in a lightweight cotton that I picked up from the thrift store a while ago just to test out the pattern. But it ended up being a wearable muslin. So I just wear it, you know, as an original pattern. And then the next thing that I, the second version was a gold kind of glittery um, knit fabric that I picked up from Hobby Lobby sometime last year so or actually 2017 <laughs> so the next thing that I made was so I took a long break between those first four so I was like on a roll on a roll making all the projects and then I just kind of stopped <laughs> I did do a um a muslin of the Anna dress which I'll get to later which is on my list but I just never finished it um in the summer so Anyway, I took a long break and I didn't make another thing until November. <laughs> so I went from like January to March, April, making things, keeping up with the list. And then I just kind of got, you know, sidetracked by other challenges and then just other things that I wanted to make. And so I got back into it again in November. And for the first thing that I made in November was the Sapporo coat, but by, by again by Paper Cut Patterns. And I had cut out this pattern last, well, December 2017, for the So Much Talent um, ch uh, coat challenge, and I didn't I didn't get get to make it in December. So I decided to go ahead and finish it up because I didn't want another year to go by without me making that coat. And I'm so glad I did. I think I really like coat 
coat making now. So I do want to try more coats this year. So the next thing that I made was Simplicity 8466, which is the Mimi G um, uh, top with the beautiful bell sleeves. And here's a picture of me wearing it right here. And I really like, um, at first I was on the fence about it because it comes a little too short, but it's growing on me and I'm starting to wear it more and more. Um, just because it's a little too short. I did lengthen it. So if you don't want your stomach to show, you might want to lengthen it. Um, do a muslin or at least hold the pattern tissue up to yourself and figure out how much longer you want to make it because um, the cuff doesn't cover that much more on the pattern. So make sure it's going to hit where you want it to hit before you make up the pattern. But the, um, the directions were very easy to follow and, and Mimi G also has a tutorial here on um, YouTube for her, her this top. So the next thing, the final thing that I made was the Anna dress by Bay, by Hand London. And this is it right here. And let's see, can I? So this is the Anna dress that I made. And I just finished this in December. And we just came back from a cruise uh, with my family and I decided to go ahead. Uh, I was gonna make a different dress that I picked up, some patterns that I picked up um, uh, earlier this year that I showed you. But I decided, you know what? I Still have this on my make nine list. Let me go ahead and finish it. I did make a muslin of the bodice part only. Um, and it was way too much fabric up in here. And I took it to my sewing class and she helped me pin it out. Um, a blonde helped me pin out how much I needed to take out. And so what I did was um, I basically took a wedge out of the pattern and just uh, trued up this, the front and was able to get the the front to match to fit better because it was just like way 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 out um so it all worked out so that was the only change that i made to this pattern because the bodice part was just way too big up up here um i might next time probably take a little bit out of the back portion because it still it gave a tiny bit in the back um not much nothing to be worried about it's kind of a nitpicky thing um, but the pattern itself was very simple. Um, I really enjoyed making this pattern, sewing it up. The directions were really clear, except they really didn't explain that like, they had a um, they had in the notes that why don't you sew um, pennies in the bottom of the dress to prevent it from uh, coming up? So I said I don't know how to do this. So it didn't tell you exactly how to do it. So I did end up finding a website it's um by itch to stitch patterns and i'll leave a link to the blog post by itch to stitch patterns and i did sew pennies into the the split and every uh seam on the bottom of the skirt because they were like there were four let's see one two three four five six six seven seven uh there were seven seven panels for the skirt so every time on each on each seam of the skirt panels i added a penny to the bottom and it really helped it because it was a little windy um on the deck on while i was on the cruise and the wind was kicking up but it didn't fly all the way up and show anything so i really enjoy i think i'm going to incorporate adding pennies to my hems and um floaty lightweight dresses more apparently the queen of, of england does it all the time to keep make sure her dresses don't fly up so anyway now if, if i can sew my own dress i can do it too so that's what i did um I, I added the pennies into the hem so i really and this fabric is a fabric i got from zora fabrics um which is a little fabric store at the mall at white marsh mall here in maryland and um i just love the tulip print on this pattern And um, I'll show you, here's a look, a quick clip of me wearing the dress right here. So that was my, this Anna dress. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to tell you was for the split, I had to raise the split up a little bit because I guess because I'm shorter, 
when I put it on, the split ended up closer to my knees. So I had to raise it up about four inches or so, so that it could actually hit my, my, um, hit my thigh. And I did have to take about, I took four inches off the pattern and then I took another like four inches off the actual hem of the dress. And my husband did help me. I stood up on the stool and he helped me measure around um, the bottom. So he was like, make sure everybody knows that I helped with this dress. So he did help me with the hemming to help, um, help me pin it at the bottom to get the, the length right on this dress. So I'm really in love with this dress. Um, it's just such a fun floaty dress and perfect for a warm weather and the cruise came just in time at the end of the year for me to be able to wear it in December. So that was my last of my uh, sewing makes for 2018. So the last make that I had was, was going to make for the 2018 Make 9 Challenge was the Comfort Fade Cardigan by Andrea Mowry and it's a knitted pattern. And um, I didn't get a chance to finish it. Part of it is I kind of, I started off in like March or April making this, this, uh, this card again, but I just kind of fell off of it. I was trying to do a linen, um, I told you about the linen, uh, sweater. I was trying to make, and it was a finger and weight and it was taking forever and ever and ever. And I actually ran out of yarn. I still have to order more yarn to finish that project up. But, um, I'll show you how far I've gotten so far. So, um, I'm almost finished. I finished the whole, the front. I'll show you. I can sh put it on so you can see. So I finished the front and one arm. <laughs> so, and I like how it all fades down from the white to the black and white to like the magenta to the gray and magenta to the, the darker magenta. So I just, all I have to do is finish the, uh, I started the other sleeve but I didn't get all the way to the bottom. And then I, all I have to do is the uh, cuff. I mean, yeah, the, um, the collar, I'm sorry, the collar of the cardigan. So I'm almost done. So I would say I made eight and a half makes <laughs> for the 2018 Make Nine Challenge. And my plan was to go ahead and finish this up while I was on the cruise. Doing, I was chilling and relaxing on, you know, on the, uh, by the pool and everything. However, we had a big old problem with luggage coming down. So I I packed up my suitcase and the kids, um, my two older kids packed up their own suitcases and I picked and I packed for Christopher. And when we got to the airport, um, two of our bags hadn't come out. And I was like, where are our bags? And I showed the lady, the baggage claim lady. She said, were two of your pack your baggage bags supposed to go to LAX? I was like, no, we were leaving out of Fort Lauderdale to go on a cruise from Florida. And she said, well, two of your bags are in LAX and they won't get, make it back in time for your cruise. So, um, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So, um, my two older kids, Carmen and Charles, they did not have clothes. And, um, my knitting bag was in, uh, Carmen's bag because I ran out of room in my bag and I put my knitting bag in his, in, um, in her bag. And I put my makeup in Charles's bag. So my makeup, my knitting bag, and Charles and Carmen's clothes were all the way in LA, in LA before. So we were just like, ah, what are we gonna do? And my son, he was like, what? This is no so fair. I don't, I can't understand what happened. So um, I said, don't worry about it. I'll figure out something. So um, I said, is there a Walmart nearby? And he said, she said, yes, yeah, yes. So we were able to, we asked the driver cause we ordered a, um, a shuttle not a shuttle, but like a car, private car to take us from the airport to the boat. But, um, we asked if we could, if he could take us to Walmart because of the emergency. And he was, he did, but he only gave us a half hour to go in because he had to make some, do some other pickups from the airport. So we were rushing around. I got a couple of, um, a little bit of makeup for me. And I got Carmen picked out a couple of outfits and, um, but they didn't, it was just the weirdest Walmart. The first, the makeup section, they said, you have to buy everything here. You can't take it to, you know, put it in your cart and put it in your register. You had to buy everything in the makeup counter. So that slowed me down because we had to, I had to check out once there and then keep going and getting the kids stuff next. And then we got there. And now, mind you, this is a Walmart in Florida. And I, we saw so many pools as we were landing. I'm like, 
I know they should have kids swimsuits, but they didn't have any kids swimsuits. They had toddler swimsuits and adult women's swimsuits and nothing for boys and nothing for little girls. So I was like, what am I going to do? So I ended up getting like an athletic shorts for Charles that could pass his swim trunks. Cause I was like, well, people don't care so much with boys. And he got like a, a, a athletic top that he could wear as a um, rash guard top. So that worked out for him. And then for Carmen, I went into the adults um, swim section I got her the smallest, like, size 3 bikini for her. And um, I said, we're just going to have to figure out how to make this work. So when we got on the cruise, I knotted up the sides of the bottom. And I put twist ties on the side. And then I twisted the back up so it will fit her around here. So we made it work, but it all worked out. And um, we ended And I got Charles a little tie because they always have a formal night on cruise. And um, I got him a little tie. And he with some khakis and he still fortunately had his shoes, his dress shoes in his um, book bag that he had as a carry on. And for Carmen, I had to buy her some sandals in adult size because those were the only sandals that they had on the cruise because we didn't we ran out of time to get the shoes at the Walmart. And I just put a twist tie on the bottom of her shoes and it worked and we all look good for the formal night for New Year's Eve. Um, so anyway, it all worked out. But um Anyway, I wasn't able to work on my my uh, cardigan while I was on the cruise, which I had planned to do, you know, sit back and relax. And I saw a couple of people with their crocheting and embroidery stuff sitting by the pool. I was like, oh, I don't have my stuff. But anyway, <laughs> I'll be working on that. Hopefully, I'll get that done by the end of the month. I'll be working on that sweater. So, um, anyway, that's my roundup for the 2018 Make 9. I'll be having um, my 2019 Make 9 um plans coming out soon and uh thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time take care bye